Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. We're going to work in chapter 16. This is the book of Gregory Macchio. During this chapter, this is about model policy competition. The book is Principles of Economics, and we are going to work from exercises 1 to 5. Uh, so the first question says, a monopoly, oligopoly, monopolistic competition, and perfect competition, how would you classify the markets for each of the following drinks? Okay, basically we already have seen the basic characteristic among those markets, so definitely we at that time we can classify them according the different groups that we already mentioned. So the first one is about tap water. Uh, I would say that this is more monopoly because when you you open your your tap basically you just have basically one provider for all building it doesn't work like there are different of your neighbors and they have different providers of tap water so when we we talk about that this is more about natural monopoly why remember about the definition of natural monopoly is when the fixed cost they are so high so when they are so high this is definitely a barrier to entry because other companies in order to establish and set up a company they should build again pipes they should build again different um, kind of constructions in order to set up a new tap water provider which should be like a high cost and it should be even harder for people in general so for this reason we talk about more about the the kind of natural monopoly that market bottled water well uh, it depends I, I guess that you can classify depending on your arguments to support the idea from my point of view I would say that it's a perfect competition if we consider uh, the meaning of perfect competition as the same good uh, the same price, the same characteristic of cost modeling for each company, a lot of pro a lot of uh, providers and a lot of consumers. Then at that time we can consider that it should be uh, an homogeneous good, because obviously you can think about different brands that they provide for their vitamins or for their. I mean for the uh, ingredients to improve the taste of the water, uh, the quality of the water. So if you say about that, we are talking that this is more related with monopolistic competition. But I understood as the same water, it would be that this is more like perfect competition. The cola, uh, basically, uh, I would classify them as a legal poly. Sorry for the typing mistake, Olgi Pololi. <laughs> okay, uh, Oligopoly ba basically uh, because there are few, there are f there are few firms that they provide this this kind of good. Even the obviously there is a difference between the products. There are just like few of them that they provide them. So the most representative representative one they are Pepsi. There are per Pepsi and Coca Cola. Uh, but definitely, definitely, there are further others providers that they provide a similar taste, a similar idea that you can consider them in the set of these kind of beverages. So, so basically, the, I would say that is more like a poly because there are few companies that they provide this kind of good. The beer, uh, definitely, it's monopolistic competition. You can find whatever when the market different grades of alcohol different quantity different taste different origin different breweries that, that they prepare in different way the, the beer the even the places when you t can take them i would say that this is monopoly competition different price any any beverage they have like kind of market power depending on the position that they they are in the market so the position that they have like kind of the market share that they are in the um, the company in the market second classified following markets as perfectly competitive monopolistic or monopolistically competitive and explain your answers the first wooden number two pencils uh, again it depends on your um, your arguments because 
I would say that it should be maybe a monopolistic competi uh, competitive um, because because maybe you can find different colors, different qualities, different quality of wooden, different prices, different size. So if you say something like that, I would say that it's okay. But from a point of view, I would say that it's more perfect competition because it's straight. Uh, this is just like wooden made and the number two pencils so there's no further specification so it makes that as a perfectly competitive just the same good a lot of producers and a lot of consumers copper this uh, i would say that is more the perfect competitions because anytime we talk about raw material they obviously they haven't they, they have not been processed yet so basically it does mean that it does mean that that those products they are basically the same is is how they are taken from the earth or from the mine or from the different processes natural one so then all the raw materials because we don't talk about any particular difference between them they would be more as a perfect competition local electricity service service if we don't have another uh, electricity service in that place there is the unique the only one the provider that they can provide this kind of service it should be definitely a monopoly because uh, you don't have any other takeover that it will be on the market so definitely we just have one and a lot of consumers so we are more we're kind of closer to monopoly peanut butter uh, uh, I would say there's more a monopolistic competition because you will find different brands, different tastes, different prices, different sizes, and different um, conditions that make you kind of a different product between them. And lipstick is basically really similar, similar to peanut butter because you have the lipstick which uh, it fulfills the same kind of service, you know but at the, end, at the end of the day we can think about them as a different product because again the quality the colors the additives all this stuff make different between i'm not really into lipstick but i would say that this is definitely definitely a, a different product third for each of the following characteristics say whether it describes a perfectly competitive firm or a monopolistic monopolistically competitive firm both or neither so here we have uh, just two competitive firm a monopolistically competitive firm sells a product differentiated from that of its competitors i would say that is more more monopolistically competitive firm because when we talk about perfectly competitive firm we are talking more about homogeneous good so there is not any there is isn't any difference between them so definitely should be more related with monopolistically competitive firm where there are again a lot of consumers a lot of producers but there is a slight difference between the products that is offered to the market has marginal revenue less than price uh, it should be more monopolistically competitive firm when we talk about the marginal revenue price uh, basically we're, we're kind of talking about the marginal kind of the markup of at each company remember uh, the definition of marginal revenue where we talk about marginal we talk about every single time that you change the order uh, value in one unit what it happens to the to the other one when we are talking about marginal revenue we are talking about one unit one additional unit sell sold then uh, how it should change your revenue anytime this additional revenue is higher than the price um, then uh, the idea you are you're kind of losing money the idea is like the price should be higher than the marginal revenue why because uh, basically it guarantees that for any additional unit you still will be gaining or you still will be earning money so then the marginal revenue is less than price is the case monopolistically competitive firm because the other case the perfectly competitive firm is because it's homogeneous they are priced the 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 consumers they are price trackers but uh, but they can the producers as well so they don't have any power to the price so at the end of the day they should be uh, the price equal to the marginal revenue any additional unit sold it represents the same the exactly the same as the price definitely 
actually the benefits should be zero for the perfectly competitive firm. So here uh, we, we have the representation of the firm makes profit. Uh, so these uh, are the curves. So remember, depends. this is downward uh, s s slope um, shaped because they have market power different from the perfectly competitive firm where they don't have any market power so any change of the price it will uh, face an infinite change of the of the quantities if they charge a higher price no one will buy them so then uh, here and the competitive and the um, monopolistically competitive firm the demand is, is downward slope and the margin revenue is kind of sloper that than the, the the other one than the demand then you will charge exactly the quantities what the marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue then it, it it means when the additional unit that it costs you it should be the same that you receive it so it should be the optimal one because uh, any any point right over here it means that you will be lost losing money because your margin cost is higher than margin revenue and here you are losing the capacity because here the margin cost higher is lower than the marginal revenue so you are still earning money for each additional unit produced so then definitely it should be these the, the original one so then you you can reflect that point to the demand issue determine the price okay so then we will be we are here in a situation where the marginal revenue is less than the price um, next one, earn economic profit in the long run. Neither one, because perfectly competitive firm, even in the short run, they do, they don't earn money. Um, and and the other one, the monopolistically competitive firm, in the short run they earn money, but in the in kind of the long run, that is like due to there are not there are no barriers to entry. More and more companies will enter into the market until the end everyone should be in the point where the part the price equal to marginal revenue and then uh, at the end of the day no one will reflect uh, economic benefits okay different to account uh, account benefits that we discussed in previous chapters so then d produces at the minimum of the average total cost in the long run this is the, the picture that we already saw before in the previous slide and this is the situation of perfectly competitive firm so here this is the minimum one okay this is like kind of the efficient scale but uh, the the monopolistic monopolistically competitive firm it produces around here where the average total cost is higher and then this is this is kind of the not the minimum so then the minimum of the average total cost in the long run we are talking about perfectly competitive firm where we are here because this is the quantity produced in uh, um equal to the efficient scale and better uh, output for the, the society as well so definitely this is what we are talking about more perfectly competitive firm so equate marginal and uh, revenue marginal cost and the other one charges a price of a marginal cost. Again, we can visualize this answer in this in these two graphs. So uh, the first one equals marginal revenue marginal cost. We have here. We have your situation. Definitely both. So they should be both. And the last one uh, charges a price of a marginal cost. We are talking more about monopolistic competitive firm because the perfectly competitive firm it charges when the price is exactly equal to the marginal cost. Then uh, phases the downward sloping, uh, and this is another one. So fourth, for each of the following characteristics, say whether it describes a monopoly firm, a monopolistically competitive firm, both or neither. Phases a downward sloping demand curve. So here we are talking about monopolistic competitive firm because they have market power. So for this reason, demand is downward slope. But it's important to to notice that this is the same case for a monopoly firm. They they both they have a demand which it has like downward sloping demand curve. So then the, the other one has marginal revenue less than price. So here marginal revenue less than price. This is both both of them they have markup a uh, market power. Obviously, it's considered that monopolistic or monopoly firm they should be a higher mark mark up because they have a complete differentiated product. I mean, they are the only one that they produce this good or service. So for this reason, it makes like a higher control to the market, and they can 
charge a higher price, different from the case of monopolistically uh, competitive firm where they should um, they should charge a price which is uh, still higher than marginal cost, but the difference the markup should be definitely definitely smaller than the monopoly one. Um, then. Uh, faces uh, the entry of new firms selling similar products. We're talking about a monopolistically competitive firm because the monopoly firm is just one, and if if, if there is another competitor, it should be it shouldn't be any more a monopoly. Okay, then we are talking more about monopolistic competitive firm. Earned economic profit in the long run. We are talking more about monopoly firm because no one enters into the market, so they will be earning still um, the same money as in the short run. Different from the monopolistically competitive firm where there there aren't barriers to entry and more companies will make that your demand will be reduced. And then when you have this kind of uh, reduction of your demand, at the end of the day. You will face um, you will face benefits equal to zero, and equates margin revenue and margin cost. We're talking about both. They have this as the quantity to decide. Then it should be refracted to demand to establish the price. Produces the social efficient quality of output. Neither just the perfect competition is the only one. The unique condition of market structure that they can provide a, uh, a social efficient quantity. The last one, you are hired as a consultant to a monopolistically competitive firm. Uh, the firm reports the following information about its price, marginal cost, and average total cost. There aren't any information, but we are going to figure out how we can handle with that. So, can a firm possibly be maximizing profit? If not, what should it do to increase profit? If the firm is profit maximizing, is the firm in a long run equilibrium? If not, what will happen to restore? long ran equilibrium. So basically those are the ideas when we have different condition, conditions, relationships uh, between price and margin cost. So we would need to verify which is the condition of the uh, of kind of the monopolistically competitive firm. What is condition about price? And we are talking about the long run. So definitely the price shouldn't be lower than margin cost because they should be losing money. But price margin uh, higher the margin cost. That's right. This is the condition of the monopolistically competitive firm. Price equal to margin cost is more a condition about the competitive firm or perfectly competitive firm. And the last one, price equal uh, higher to margin cost. So we are talking about B and D as the condition of the long run equilibrium. And then, and the long run, remember the price exactly equal to average total cost. Why? Since uh, there are no benefits. The income, which is reflected as revenue, total revenue, which is price times quantity, it should be exactly the same as the total cost. That it should be the total cost at that time. The quantity uh, times or the average total cost times the price, and then you will have this one. The um, basically the the total the value of the cost. So here we have uh, we have the price and quantity produced. This should be your total. Revenue and your total cost should be the price times the average total cost. Okay, so then this one, if you reflect this one, this is the average total cost, and you multiply by the quantity, you will finish on the total cost. So then the total revenue is equal to total cost, so benefits equal to zero. So we are talking more about the part. Okay, I hope it has worth for you. As every time I say this is like my point of view, all the time you say this is it should be better if we can talk in that way, it should be done in that way it should be great for me to have these kind of comments um, that's all i'll see you in the next video um, bye bye